we're gonna smoke our first Perdomo. All right, y'all. This is gonna be a, my first Perdomo cigar. Let's get into it. I can't wait to get into it. Many videos as I watched of his, his factory tours and stuff. I can't wait to get into this bad boy. Like for real. This has been sitting in my humidor for a hot minute since I started first collecting cigars. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that wrapper. That band is beautiful too. Beautiful. All right. We're going to do a nice V cut, hopefully. All right, that'll do. That was really nice. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that cap and make it a flat cap. A straight cut, better than that V cut because it's making it a little hard to toke on. And I think he, per, he uh, prefers us to cut it with a straight cut anyway. Just cut it, no big deal. <laughs> Phenomenal smoke. Phenomenal taste. Mm. All right, I'm gonna get to it. So y'all, this is an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper and its binder is a Cuban seed Nicaraguan and the filler is Cuban seed Nicaraguan. This is a beautiful, awesome, tasty Connecticut cigar. I recommend this cigar for everyone. Beginners as well. It's a beautiful tasting cigar. This should be in everybody's daily rotation. Daily cigar rotation. I'm getting more of these. I got the full line of these. I got the 10th anniversary of this. I got the Sun Grown 10th anniversary. And I got the Maduro uh, 10th anniversary. I'm going to try them back to back. This is first and then the Sun grown or then the Maduro later tonight. But yeah, this cigar, go get it right now. Matter of fact, go get one while you're watching this video. Perdomo. You gotta respect this family. If you guys don't know who this guy is, go watch their YouTube videos. Mr. Nick Perdomo walks you through the whole process of what he does in his factory. I love watching it. I went through, I binged watched those videos and I liked and commented on every single one. You'll see that if you go watch, you'll see my comment. Anyway, go get you one. You will not be.
be disappointed at all. I'm a lifer fan of Mr. Nick Perdomo. I'm a lifer fan of Oliva. I'm a lifer fan of Arturo Fuente. Um, and uh, Rocky Patel's as well. And a few others. Oh yeah, Cuban Rounds. I like Cuban Rounds too. Anyway, I'm going back to smoking. I will talk to you later. Boy, hey, you guys. Go get one of these. These are box worthy. This has a rich, creamy, like delicate, uh, creamy, a delicate dessert type of taste on it. And the finish is creamy as freak. It's like a creamy uh, cappuccino or something like that. You know, just, you know, that froth at the top is like creamy like that. Go get you one of these. I'm telling you right now. I highly recommend these for everybody. This is a medium, a, a mild to medium uh, strength. I suggest everybody. Uh, some cedar notes in, in there too, along with the cream and the rich smoothiness. This one is the Churchill size. So it's going to take me a minute to smoke this bad boy down. Also, you know what I'm getting in here? A little bit of spice with all those flavors it's kind of like drinking a sprite or a uh a seven up or some type of soda like that or uh, yeah so you get all those tasty notes the sweetness and then you get that that tingly from the spice or the pepper or whatever's in here yeah that's what it the name champagne is is it's 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 an awesome name. I mean, it describes this thing very well. How it feels on your palate. Anyway, all right, I'm not gonna bore you guys no more. But go get you one. Smoke this bad boy. You won't regret it. If you don't want the Churchill size like I got, get the Robusto size or the Toro size or something small. But yeah, I'm loving this cigar from the gate. I knew it was going to be awesome because of Mr. Nick Perdomo's reputation. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get back to this. No more talking. Back to smoking and talking. I hate to keep coming back on y'all, but uh, on this retro hell, oh my gosh, you guys. The retro hill is freaking awesome. The draw in is awesome. And the blow out of your mouth is awesome. That retro hill. Gosh. Now, the only thing I have, the only thing not bad, but the only gripe I would say is the draw on this. It's a little restrictive, but I think that's done on purpose so that you slow down on it and not just. <laughs> Token fast because that's me. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a back to back toker. Uh, back to back toker. So this is forcing me to slow down and relax, and enjoy every single draw, every single toke. So I think that's done on purpose, and uh, I just got to get used to it when it comes to this cigar. It's not going to keep me from smoking it or buying it. But I just had to learn how to slow down. Because sometimes when the draw is too much, I, I took it fast. I took it fast. I'm not going to lie, you guys. Especially if I'm enjoying a cigar. Or if there's a, a cigar I want to hurry up and get it done with because I'm not enjoying it. I'll hit it back to back to back to back to back to back. And, and, and to either get it done or because I'm enjoying it, I want to enjoy it further. So, but yeah. That's to make you slow down and enjoy it. Anyway, I highly, again, I highly recommend the cigar for everybody out there watching this video. Perdomo Champagne 10th Anniversary. My first one ever. 
people, let me tell you. I'm in love with it. And Mr. Podoma is a man of God, too. And that's a definite plus, And that's definitely something that's going to make me a, a lifelong fan. But, and I'm not just higher rating this cigar because of that. I'm rating this cigar because it's freaking awesome and good and tasty. And it hits every note that a cigar smoker would want in a cigar. Anyway, I'm going to get back to smoking. Cheers. Cheerio. Y'all, I am virtual hailing every puff. It's time to ash it. The ash is holding on really well. That's a sign. That little... I'm told that that little spike right there is... A sign of a good burning cigar. This cigar, um, y'all. Um, I know y'all are probably gonna think I'm exaggerating. This is damn near. <sighs> this is number one. This is a perfect cigar. This is a perfect cigar. Perfect in every way. It doesn't even give off a lot of smoke when it's burning. Not even a lot of smoke. It's windy, so that's why it's doing all that canoeing. It's nothing has to do nothing with to do with the cigar. But it's not even. It's not giving off a lot of smoke. But I can't even barely see it. In my book, this is a perfect cigar. The Opus X is a perfect cigar. This is a perfect cigar. Oh, go get one. Like I fell in, I'm, I'm in love with the cigar. I'm in love with the cigar. I can't wait to get to the other two. Oh, Mr. Perdomo, this is a perfect cigar, sir. I love it. Thank you for the attention to detail. I mean, if you guys need to watch his, his, his factory tours and see how much detail goes into and how much of a stickler he is to, for every process. I mean, there are so many different steps to make sure every single cigar is perfect. And I see why. And for some reason, <clears throat> not a lot of places out here carry Perdomo. And that, uh, it's, it's, it's really crazy. Uh, let's see, Total Wine carries them. And uh, this other cigar place that I was the probably one of the last cigar places I found, they carry Perdomo. They didn't carry that 30 year, which I really can't wait to get my hand on. I'll probably have to go online. But uh, all the places so far that I've come across, only two places carry Perdomo. But yeah. This is a perfect cigar, period, hands down. Man, I'm, I'm like lost for words. I don't even know what to say. So I'm not going to say nothing else. I'm just going to keep talking. So yeah, I had to put it down, you guys. This cigar is so perfect. I kept hitting it back to back to back to back to back, and that's not how... I want to do this cigar. I want to treat it with some respect. Got to put some respect on the name, right? Anyway. Yeah. Look, you guys. Everything about this cigar is top-notch and perfect to me. For right now. 
This is gonna be one of my, this one under Rocky Patel, I can make daily smokes, even the Opus X. But because of the cost of the Opus X, that's a, that's a every once in a while, maybe I could smoke the Opus X every weekend. But you know, the cost of that bad boy, you know what I'm saying? And the cost of this, yeah, I would make this one the daily smoke. This one in the Rocky Patel Vintage 1999. Yeah, that would, that would make that one a, 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 a daily smoke too. Yeah. Anyway. I'm gonna let it rest for a little bit, cool down. Just in case I, you know, made it heat up. I don't want it to heat up too much. So I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and I'll pick it back up. All right, y'all, time to take the band off of this perfect cigar. <clears throat> keep going all right y'all I'm done with the champagne 10th anniversary by Perdomo go get one ASAP all right y'all y'all have a good day